Hello artists and creators! So here I have another art video. How long hasn't it been since then? This is actually a collaboration with this super cool YouTube artist called Vivified Art. At least that's how I think she's called or how you say it. She's so cool and this is like my first collaboration and I'm so excited. So we decided to do a art art themed collaboration and she will be doing a digital piece inspired by the theme of books which can be i guess anything from characters to plots to actual physical books and so i'm doing a traditional art piece or traditional and traditional i was going to do just like a painting or drawing and then i was just like came up with this really great idea and as you guys mostly know, I'm not a painter and a drawer, I'm mostly just like a general artist. So if you're confused throughout this video, then all of the art things are going to come together at the end. Because it's kind of going to seem like none of the things I'm doing make sense, but it's all going to like make sense in the end. So stick with me. And if you have any questions about the actual art or what I'm doing, then please comment that below. Because uh, Vivified, she also made me some questions that I'm going to be answering, so that's really cool. And if you want to check out her video, then the link will be in the cards as well as at the end of the video. And on her channel, you're going to be seeing a digital art piece inspired by books, and she'll also be answering some questions that I made for her, which is so exciting. I'm so excited to see her um, artwork. So let's just get started with the five questions. Um, so the first question is, what inspired your YouTube name? And I think I've answered this one before, but Life Goofer is basically who like I aspire to be. I mean, I want to look at life um, as a goofy thing, as not taking myself so seriously. I want to joke with life, and I want to be the kind of the character of Life Goofer. Although I don't really like that name anymore, I think it's just it, it's really me. So that's why I'm keeping it, and also I think it's just a really great reminder. The second question is, have you always been inspired, uh, interested, sorry, in art? And uh, yes, I have. I mean, I have so many drawings and stuff from when I was a kid. Like, I was just be creating like page after page of drawings. And I think I'm very inspired by art as like the different forms of art. I like exploring what art can give me and what I can contribute to the community of art. So even though I haven't been very specified in what type of art styles I do, I like doing everything, you know, like everything from sewing, uh, which is definitely an art style or creativity like designing and I've done uh, ceramics and I've done you know everything you know in the beginning of my channel I was doing so much craft stuff and and I really think through my art channel I have been able to explore those things I don't think I would have tried like glass painting if it wasn't for YouTube I mean that video is complete shit but just generally I think the YouTube channel has really made me explore more types of arts again um, so I've always been inspired by you know, creativity in a way, which I think has everything to do with art. And even though I don't paint that much or draw that much, I'm always looking at like YouTubers that paint or draw or do digital art. Like it just fascinates me so much. I wish I would be that good. And I love seeing people that are just that good, you know? And especially when it comes to like vivified art, because she's like, she's improved so much. And I think that's so inspiring, like following the journey of an artist. And in that way, I've definitely been always interested in art as well as the artist, I guess. All right. So the third question is, what's your favorite book? And except Harry Potter, I mean, like I love all those books, like all my favorite books. And I think the sixth one, sixth one in the series, The Half-Blood Prince, is my favorite one. But except those, I would say um, The Girls by... Emma Klein, which I actually have a book review for. I love that book so much, but I mean, I've only read um, the book once, so I don't know if I'd like it again, you know? And I also really like Strange the Dreamer um, by Lainey Taylor, and I Kafka on the Shore by Haruki Murakami, and I recently read a book called The Toy Makers, which was just so brilliant, and that one was by Robert something, Robert Dinsdale. I'm so sorry if you want me to pick one book, but I just, I just can't do that. Question four is, will you ever write a book? And I think definitely yes. I mean, as like a kid, I would always say that I would have like five careers in my life, you know? And at the end of my life, I'd be like writing a book and being at a donut store because I really wanted to do that. 
So I'll definitely write a book at some point. I mean, I always have so many great ideas and like I'm constantly coming up with great book plots. And so I'm definitely going to write. I mean, I'm writing all the time on my computer, my diary. I like writing beautiful things or short stories and that kind of thing. So yeah, I'll definitely write a book at some point. But whether it's in like two years or when I'm 80, I have no idea. And the last question is, who is your favorite author? And for this one, obviously I couldn't pick one. Actually, if I'd pick one, I'd say Brandon Sanderson because all his fantasy books that I've read are just so incredibly brilliant. And he's also an incredible writer and super creative and I admire him so much. Um, and second place, I think I'd have to give to Victoria Schwab. I haven't read all her books, but I'm going to read all her books. I think she's also really, really good and I have enjoyed all her fantasy books. I also felt like I just had to mention these two authors, and that's Haruki Murakami. I love his writing style, I think it's really unique, and I've only read two books by him, so I can't really say he's my favorite author, um, but I definitely want to read all his books, it's like at that level. And also Celeste Ng, she's only released two books, but anything she writes I'll definitely read, both her books are absolutely brilliant, and I highly recommend anyone check her out, I think her adult contemporary books are so great. Alright, so I didn't think I'd actually have time to talk about the art piece, but um, here we are, and I think I'd like to talk about it. So right now I'm actually painting or um, outlining the books, and the books are kind of, um, yeah, not very well done. <laughs> like the perspective thing, I had such a hard time with it. Like I've been taught all these perspective things, but it's just not like my forte. But it's been really fun, and um, the whole art piece is basically based upon books and like make creating kind of like um a physical mindset to books like um you'll see later that it's going to be like this little girl in the corner with her teddy bear um praying up to the staircase of books and entering this book world and that book is definitely not like well done in the perspective but I don't know, I always like the idea of, you know, entering your world and when you're reading, you're constantly going into the worlds that you're reading. Like, you get really attached to the characters and everything. And in a way, I didn't want this girl in the corner to feel like she she isn't going to reach that door because she's sitting there and praying. But I just thought that little illustration was really cute. I printed it off online, so it's not on my, mine. Um, and I just colored it black. But I wish she was doing something else, like she was reading, sitting there reading, and this whole, like, with the clouds and the staircase up was, like, in her mind, sort of. Like, that was a physical um, projection of how she felt about books. And so maybe I, I'd like to change that, but when I glued it on, it was just, it didn't come off in a way. And I just really like the teddy bear because it's, you know, me, like, I'm obsessed with teddy bears and I have, like, my favorite teddy bear and everything. So that little girl is me. <laughs> Later you'll see that I'm basically putting these books that are coming out of the clouds and this I I really liked in a way because it makes me feel like there are balloons that are floating up over the clouds and each book is kind of attached to someone's head somewhere and each book has is attached to like a person and the book is their story in a way and that's why I added the balloons like each person has their own book maybe it's never written but it's in the cloud somewhere so I really like that metaphor kind of thing and in a way I also think like the girl that's praying she is reading all these books to find her way to this one book that is her home her story and um yeah I don't know if I came up with that or right now or if I just knew it all along I do that sometimes but also this piece just makes me so incredibly happy it just reminds me of my love of books like books help me through so much and they're just you know the essence of me I think books are so important in you know a person's development a person's understanding of the world and I owe so much to books and I just I'm so grateful for them and everyone who writes them and I sort of wanted to do an art piece inspired by my love of books and my appreciation for them as for the technicalities, I know it's not that great. Uh, I'm not that great of like a perspective artist and the clouds are definitely not that good. I was trying to look at a picture, but I wasn't getting there. I felt like maybe I was doing too many bumps and it should have been more airy of a sky, but I also wanted to seem like it was almost like in the clouds. And then realistically, it would just be kind of misty, but I didn't know how to draw that. So, you know, you could see my dilemma going on here. 
but I'm really proud with the way that it looks kind of 3D, kind of sticking out, and it just makes me so happy. I'm so proud of it, and I really hope you guys enjoy it as well. Also, if you enjoyed this video, you have to go and check out Vivified Arts' video and thank her for me publishing this video. I mean, this would never have happened um, if it wasn't for her, and I'm just so grateful um, for her and her support and everything she puts out in the world, you know? I think being a YouTube artist, just it takes a lot of effort, and I think it is a little hard when sitting on the other side of the screen appreciating all the work that goes into um, people putting their things out there, and artists are especially exposed because it's like a creative thing and so they're putting like part of their soul out there in a way also go and follow alexa on instagram her name is also vivified art where she also actually posts art pictures from her art classes which i think is just so cool thank you guys all so much for watching and thank you alexa i appreciate you to like the moon and back i hope you guys all have a brilliant day and i'll see you guys soon bye bye lovelies